Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Steel Series Wow Cataclysm mouse. As a lot of you guys know, I was a big fan of the original Steel Series Wow mouse. This thing came out at the start of Wrath, and I used it religiously. Uh, I used this thing all the way up from the start of Wrath till pretty much Cataclysm right before I quit. Uh, and it worked ever since. The only reason I stopped using it was because it just got gross. Uh, I probably put about 180 days played time on this baby just because I played a lot in Wrath of Lich King. That's when I started going pretty hardcore. Uh, as you can see, it's fucking disgusting. Uh, still works. The main reason I like this mouse was that the buttons were very spread out across the, the mouse. I, I can put my whole hand on it. It's also a pretty large mouse. I have huge hands. I'm 6'5 almost. So, got yeah, big hands, big clumsy thumbs. And the main reason I like this mouse is that the buttons were very definitive and easy to hit. They weren't all on one side. Uh, you could hit them fairly quickly. Uh, there were a few flaws of this mouse, but uh, the main being the four-way D-pad. I wasn't a huge fan of the, uh, the four-way D-pad. The only two buttons I didn't really like were the up and down. Uh, they were just a little bit hard to hit for me because of my big thumb. But other than that, really like this mouse. Now let's get to the new mouse, and I think the new mouse is the way to go. This thing is definitely improved from the older version. Uh, the main the main reason I like it is there's more effective buttons. They got rid of the four-way D-pad. I'm so glad they did. Uh, they have this little thumb rest right here to where your thumb, uh, instead, of, instead of your thumb sitting sort of awkwardly on that four-way D-pad, now it fits in with a little groove. And it just it feels really good in your hand. Again, it's a big mouse like the old one. Uh, it's got a light up. It lights up right there on the, on the I guess the spine of the mouse. I'm not sure if you can see that, uh, but that lights up orange. And you can actually change the color. If it's anything like the old one, which I'm sure it is, you can probably change that color to any color you want. Uh, this gives you a better example of, of how lighting works. Um, again, the main feature with this mouse, it's big. It's got a lot of buttons. The buttons, unlike the Naga in my opinion, you actually can use all of them uh, very easily, pretty quickly, and they're also spread out across the mouse. And the main reason I like the buttons spread out across the mouse is, uh, let's say for example, you're with your Naga and you, you, you want to hit your ability 3 and 5 at the same time. Well, you can't because you only have one thumb and you're going to have to hit 3 and then 5. With this mouse or a mouse with you know any kind of multiple buttons uh, across the mouse, you can hit, like, let's say your 3 is this and your five is this. You can hit them both at the same time if you needed to. Uh, so I really like that. I also just like not having to use my thumb over and over and over again. Um, I don't know, I just feel much quicker with a mouse that has buttons everywhere and it's a lot easier for uh, big fingered people like me to, to hit buttons everywhere else rather than just have them all on my thumb. So I really like that. Other than that, the mouse is, um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, but I like that because, I don't know, it just, I like the weight. It makes it feel solid. Uh, another thing, the buttons are much more, I don't know, they, they're just better. They're improved from the older version. That was one thing that people didn't like on the older version, is that they felt the buttons were a little bit loose, like a little bit shaky. Uh, buttons on this mouse, they're very clicky and clacky. Uh, I don't really know the way to describe it other than that. They're just solid. They feel good. Um, as for the laser, it's good. I don't know. I'm not like a super FPS guy, so I couldn't really tell you. I, I played a little bit of Battlefield 3 with it. it. Seemed fine. It seemed pretty much like every other laser mouse, so I'm sure they're all pretty much standard nowadays. But other than that, um, let's talk about some of the buttons, what I use them for. Uh, this button right here, uh, there's a button right there for when you put down your, your, uh, your hand on it. You can hit it with this finger. Uh, it's a good button. Uh, it's not something I recommend for a really quick ability, but for example, uh, what, what I tried this out with was like throw the ball and hut ball. Um, that's what I liked it for. Something you don't use a lot, but something you still need to do quickly. Like you still want a primary keybind for it, but you're not going to be using it all the time. I do think it would probably be a little bit clumsy to be hitting that button all the time, but then again, it's all preference. Uh, I really like these two buttons. I wish every mouse had buttons besides scroll wheel. I really like that. Um, uh, I don't know. I just I've always liked that. One thing I don't like is that this mouse and these two mice. The main difference is that this there's only one button here. I wish there was two, like on the old one, but that's kind of negligible. The second button really wasn't that great. Uh, the main reason I, I had it, I liked it, was when I was playing WoW. I had abolish poison and remove curse, and it just made a lot of sense. Like abolish poison and remove curse. It, you know, it's right there. It makes sense vertically. <laughs> Uh, so I wish that was on there, 
but there's plenty of buttons. This thing's got, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 buttons. I guess 14 if you count the right and left click. So 14 buttons, pretty good, pretty solid. Buttons are located all across the mouse. They're all easy to hit. Um, yeah, good mouse. I really like it. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm actually going to be giving this bad boy away. There's two ways you can win it. One, you can follow me on Facebook and leave your YouTube username down in the comments below on the post with this video in it. Or number two, you can follow me on Twitter and tweet me your YouTube username. If you do it on both sites, then you have twice of a chance at winning. Um, going to be either signing this or not signing it. If you want me to sign it, uh, people are saying, well, Zybeck, you should sign it. So I'll sign it if you want me to. But if you don't, that's cool too. But uh, I think I'm going to have this contest go on for two weeks just to give everyone a fair shot because I know sometimes this video, like videos don't show up in the sub box and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so follow me on Twitter, tweet me your YouTube username or follow me on Facebook and put your YouTube username in the comments of the uh, Facebook post. If you do both, you have twice the chance at winning and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time.